President Againde Hichlema and First Lady Mutinta Hichlema reciting a prayer for Zambia's prosperity when they visited the Whaling War or the Western War in Jerusalem. The President took time to visit the tomb of Jesus, the place where Jesus is said to have had his last supper with his 12 disciples, the tomb of David, and the Zion Gate. The President said his visit here revigorates his desire of governing the country through the biblical teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know if you can call this anything other than just and historic. And um, for us in public office, uh, being charged with responsibility to run public affairs, you take a cue from here. You take some lessons from here. How to do things correctly and how not to do things. A bit of a mix, if you like. But I think we must always draw the better side, the positive side, the lessons for the future, basically, for good, lessons of that which represents good. It was a double blessing for the President and the First Lady, as their visit here also marks their wedding anniversary. Not only that, today is also a Jewish Valentine. Located in the old city of Jerusalem in Israel, it is the last remaining altar wall of the ancient Jewish temple at an incredibly important site of modern Israel history. Uh, I spoke with the president of Zambia and the people of Zambia with a message from the, the tomb of King David to keep the seven Rohites laws. You can read in the internet in all languages. Uh, we are looking for peace all over the world, but there are still more than 10,000 nuclear weapons uh, around the world. God forbids. We don't need weapon, we don't need hatred, no jealousy, and no wars. Thousands of people of all faith journey to the war every year to visit and recite their prayers. Traditionally, these prayers are either spoken or written down and placed in the cracks of the wall. The wall splits into two sections, one area for males and the other for females. Kalan Mochima, reporting for Zanis, in Jerusalem, Israel.